We're learning disturbing new information about the 28-year-old former Marine who carried out the massacre at the Borderline Bar and Grill. As far back as high school, Ian Long was prone to violence. He was the one student athlete that I had that I was actually scared of. Dominique Collel was Long's mm -hmm. track coach. She says he attacked her during a dispute over a cell phone. He tried to grab it from me and he reached around me with one hand, grabbed my butt, reached around me with the other, grabbed my stomach, and I'm holding the cell phone. I pushed him off me and I said, stop. You know, you can't do that. She says Long was so angry she was afraid he was capable of coming back and killing her. I feel guilty for being thankful that it wasn't me. She says she's not surprised that Long became a mass killer, but says she doubts if his actions have anything to do with PTSD resulting from his service in the Marines. I don't know what he saw over there, but he was mentally disturbed before he left for the military. There were other troubling signs. When he was a member of the baseball team, he wrote this in his high school yearbook. Future goals after baseball, death. After high school, he married an aspiring model, Vivi Zavares, now 27. They divorced after four years. This shadowy image inside the borderline bar during the massacre is believed to be long. The day of the shooting, he posted this sick message on Facebook. I hope people call me insane. Yeah, I'm insane, but the only thing you people do after these shootings is hopes and prayers or keep you in my thoughts and wonder why these keep happening. Police said he continued to post messages on social media while he was carrying out the rampage.